Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, February the 27th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it uh, looks like February's going to go out like a lion while uh, March comes in like a lamb. Well, let's take a look at some sky cam imagery this morning. There's a look at uh, the courthouse at Fayette, and you can see the morning clouds that I expect to give way to some sunshine later this afternoon. A little bit foggy at Clanton, where we, can, uh, we can't see a whole lot. <laughs> I was going to show you Chiha, but uh, it's even worse up there as they're in the clouds. And then it uh, looks like some low clouds and fog obscuring the downtown buildings. They're sort of visible there in the distance as we look out from the battleship Alabama, battleship park down at Mobile. On the surface map this morning, uh, the cold front that was along the Gulf Coast uh, has uh, headed north as we expected, and it is now in the Ohio River Valley. And we're developing a surface low over the southern Rockies that is going to be coming our way uh, later tomorrow and providing uh, the focus for some severe weather. In the upper atmosphere, the big trough that we saw out over the west coast yesterday has made the turn and the closed low is heading eastward. That is what is going to be helping to enhance the surface features and provide us with uh, fairly good contrast to give us some uh, severe weather threat. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Temperature-wise, look at all those 60 values uh, all the way from Alabama all the way over to uh, central Texas uh, as the uh, south and uh, southern tier of the United States is rather warm. And, of course, uh, still some freezing values. Uh, as you can see, the red line there, the 32-degree line, stretching all the way from, uh, oh, in the vicinity of Boston to about Kansas City. Uh, to uh, a little north of uh, Albuquerque and then over to near San Francisco. We're uh, very mild this morning. As a matter of fact, temperatures primarily in the lower 60s, although if you notice Fort Payne is 47, so it is much colder in the northeast corner of the state. And uh, that uh, those temperatures a bit nippy for, uh, for that, but uh, with, what is that, nearly uh, about a 15, 17 degree change between Fort Payne and Tuscaloosa. On radar this morning, we are seeing just a few spotty showers across the Tennessee River Valley and uh, across parts of uh, Tennessee. I don't think that many of us will see much in the way of rain or showers today. On our watch warning map, we have a number of uh, flash flood and flood watches in effect for the Ohio River Valley, as you'll see in a moment. Uh, that's probably a wise idea. Wind advisories ahead of that system and still some winter weather advisories in the southern Rockies. QPF-wise, not a great deal of rain forecast with uh, the system Monday. Uh, we might see some strong to severe thunderstorms, but as far as rainfall goes, it looks like on the order of a half inch for most locations, and that's primarily because the system will be moving through quickly. Day one, which is through 12Z tomorrow morning, so through about 6 a.m. on uh, Monday morning, moderate risk, stretching from uh, just north of uh, Texarkana across uh, Little Rock and uh, catching Memphis, uh, Cape Girardeau, uh, not quite reaching uh, St. Louis and looks like Paducah, and that's surrounded by a slight risk area. Day two is the one that affects us, and this is, uh, of course, Monday through Tuesday morning, and there's large slight risk. Uh, covering, oh gosh, a huge section of, of the eastern third of the country, stretching from about Jackson, Mississippi, uh, all the way up to uh, Baltimore, Washington area, including uh, Birmingham, Chattanooga, uh, Knoxville. So we're going to be uh, looking at that in just a moment. 06 GFS model run. Uh, indicating the possibility of a few showers today. But again, I think for the most part, uh, you know, uh, south of Coleman will be dry uh, with the possibility of a few sprinkles with these morning clouds. But uh, as they burn off, we should uh, uh, see some sun. Here comes our trough. It's a very fast flow. And here comes the trough at uh, midday tomorrow. This is uh, 18Z or noontime and the upper uh, feature coming through. And here's the surface feature. Uh, with kind of a double-barreled low, but uh, the low in the uh, western, oh, pardon me, the eastern Ohio River Valley with a cold front stretching down through uh, Alabama, and that is uh, along that cold front is where we expect to see things going on. Now let's take a little closer look at what's happening. This is uh, 18Z Monday, and uh, 
This is off uh, the uh, G, uh, GFS, and this is the storm relative helicity, which would indicate the possibility of uh, some turning to the to the flow uh, for the possibility of tornadoes. But it's not it's not especially high, but it is certainly uh, in the marginal range. Uh, what's interesting is that the uh, Cape is uh, is somewhat down, although I mean we're getting up into the 1,000 range. But it looks like this is going to be kind of a a, a linear squall line kind of event and uh, do we have enough surface moisture we'll take a look at uh, the dew points off the uh, rpm model and you can see that dew points uh, generally in the 60s perhaps even verging into the uh, edging into the 70s and uh, certainly that is uh, uh, going to be uh, enough to give us a good surface base convection and then a quick uh, look at the rpm model also uh, for the uh, Cape, and this is at uh, 20Z, so this is about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and that looks like uh, the main threat. So I think the threat primarily uh, entering the northwest part of the state 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, the Birmingham area between about noon and 3 p.m. or so, and then advancing on through the eastern part of the state. And finally, before we leave it, I wanted to uh, just take a look at the uh, sounding, the forecast sounding, uh, and... Um, we're de we are dealing with a very small uh, cap in there, but uh, there, nonetheless, there is a small cap in there. This is at uh, 18Z Monday. Uh, and what's interesting to me is that the um, lapse rate is not just that spectacular. It's good, but it's not that spectacular. Uh, and, of course, when you look at the wind flow in the lower part, the, the model is not suggesting a great deal of turning to the wind uh, down there at the, the lowest elevations. So I think uh, while you can't rule out the possibility of an isolated tornado, uh, I think the main threat is going to be uh, damaging wind, uh, much like the last system, except this one will be coming through during the daylight hours. And uh, just uh, to end out, the GFS is suggesting that by midnight on uh, Monday night, Tuesday morning, that the system will have swept on through and be well out of central Alabama. That puts us under a ridge on the 1st. So again, uh, March coming in like a lamb uh, as a very uh, mild day and certainly with surface high pressure uh, centered over about Memphis. We stay under a, a bit of a ridging. It's kind of a weak ridging, but ridging nonetheless on the 2nd and ridging on the 3rd. But we're beginning to see the whole thing break down in response to a trough out to the west by the 4th Friday. Uh, our good weather is about to come to an end as we see a fairly uh, vigorous short wave that's coming through the flow in the vicinity of the Four Corners area, uh, and that will help to increase uh, low-level moisture and, and uh, southerly wind on Friday. Friday is going to be one of those transition days. Uh, I think for the most part we'll be dry, uh, maybe an isolated shower late in the uh, afternoon and into the evening hours. The trough arrives uh, at the Mississippi River on Saturday the 5th, a week from yesterday, and that should bring us another round of uh, potentially severe storms with a pretty good temperature contrast. Notice how the 540 line dips all the way down to the Arklatex, so uh, definitely uh, going to be some chilly air behind this one. Uh, that trough uh, moseys on off to the East Coast on Sunday the 6th, the week from today, and with it, it takes that weather system uh, out onto the Atlantic coast, but notice the 540 line dipping down not quite as far as Birmingham as we saw yesterday, but still going to remind us that winter is still with us. Very quickly out into voodoo country, and uh, we have no lack of action. Here's the ninth, and here comes another strong uh, upper trough that uh, will be bringing us another round of rain and possibly storms. And then at the end of the period, around the 13th, a very vigorous closed low. Uh, which could bring us another round of storms. But after all, we are verging on March. And what is March? March is the start of severe weather season in the state of Alabama. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect uh, James Spann to be back with you tomorrow morning. First thing, should have it posted by 6.45 or 7 o'clock at the latest. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Sunday. And by all means, uh, keep uh, the idea about severe weather safety and and prepare ahead of time. Never hurts to be uh, prepared before these events occur. Well, I hope that you have a great Sunday and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to me They're all part of all the best things of life. 
sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.